Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I have an Adobe XD tutorial for you guys. We're going to be designing a dark themed meetings app. So let's go ahead and get started by opening up an iPhone 10 document. So to make sure you download the project files, the link will be down in the description and it's going to have all the colors and character styles and symbols that you're going to need for this design already for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this 01. And let's first start off by changing our artboard to this black I have here. Color code on that is 1F2122. And let's also set up a layout. I'm just gonna set this at one column. And I'm gonna put the height at 70 on the top. And then we'll go 30 on each side. And then zero on the bottom. First thing we're gonna need is the status bar at the top. So I'm gonna drag that out. And we'll just position it centered and to the top. Then we can also drag out the bar at the bottom, center that up and position it to the bottom. And then we're going to need a rectangle for our first section that we're going to be creating at the top. This is going to be 130 tall by 375 wide. Then I'm going to select this black swatch right here, which is just slightly lighter than the background. And I'll make sure to remove the border on that. I'm going to double click on my layout and just turn this off so you guys can see. We're going to send this to the back using command shift left square bracket key. And I'm going to grab my type tool and type out meeting. I'm going to set that to white. I'll go with a 20 point font of any font family of your choosing. I'm using circular. And then I'll center that up. And I'll touch that to the top of my layout that we just created. Next, we're going to need a back icon. So I'm going to drag that in. And then we're also going to need a check mark icon. That's going to go over here in this corner. I'll select all three of those and center them up. Down below this, we're going to have the user's input. So we're going to have the title, the date, the description, a color, just to make each of the meetings stand out a little bit. And then we can also invite people down at the bottom. So with my text tool, I'm going to type out title. I'm going to align this to the left. And I'm going to set this to my circular 13 size font. Position that to our margin, and then we'll go down 20 from this box that we just created. I'm going to hold Alt and drag down to duplicate that, and then we'll put in our title. I'm just going to call this Daily Review. And I'll make sure this position 10 below this text. Out to the side of this over here, we're going to have an X to clear what we've input. So I'm just going to drag out my X that I already have. Make sure that's centered up. The color on this X is this lighter gray up here. Next, we're going to create a divider line. So I'm going to drag out a line from each side of my margin. And I'll place this 15 below the bottom of this text and icon. I'm going to set this to this black color, which is 272B2C. So we have three black colors we're using. The darkest, which is for the background. Then we have a slightly lighter one. And then we have a grayer one. So I'm going to use the middle one here. Let's turn off our layout. You guys can take a look at that. So that's what we're working with so far. I'm going to take this title text and I'm going to drag the opacity down on this. I'm going to take it down to 70% just so it's not as white as the text inputted so it doesn't stand out too much. Now I'm just going to select everything, hold alt and drag it down, make a copy. We'll put 40 spacing from the bottom of this underline. This section is going to be titled date. And then we're going to set this to Friday, February 23rd. And then we can remove the closing X. And then we no longer need the underline for this section. I'm going to hold Alt and duplicate this text and drag it over. I'm going to put on my layout grid so we make sure that touches nicely. And this one is going to be aligned to the right. And I'll set this to 330 space PM. I'm going to drag the date over slightly, and then we're going to put in our date icon. Center it up. And we'll put 10 spacing in between there. And then we'll drag in our time icon, center that up to the time text, and then put 10 spacing in between there. I'm going to select the title section again and hold Alt and duplicate it one more time. We'll put 40 spacing in between this section as well. And this is going to be for the description. So description, we can delete our X and then I'm going to drag this line down just a bit. So we have some space and then we have everything lined up. So let's make this 
a text area and just drag that out. And then we can turn off our layout for the moment. I'm just gonna paste in a bit of text and then I'll adjust the spacing on this to fit it. And then we'll put our underline 15 below that, just like we did with the title section. So this is what we have so far. I'm gonna hold all in copy description and change it to color. I'm gonna bump this up to 15 on the font and bring it to full opacity. This is gonna be about 60 below the underline. So now instead of 40, we're adding a bit more space. I'm gonna grab the ellipse tool and just drag out a circle. I'm gonna hit the lock icon and we'll put this at 14 by 14. I'm gonna remove the fill and then I'm gonna apply this green as a border. And then I'm gonna bump the border up to two. So these colors are gonna help make the Meetings app feed not too cluttered. That way we can organize them by color. So I'm gonna drag this one over to this side and I'll just make sure this is centered up with our text. Check the spacing, make sure it's still 60, it is. And then we can just duplicate this. I'm gonna put 12 spacing in between each one of these. And then we'll do that additional three times. Two and three. The first one is going to be blue. The next one is going to be this reddish pink. And then we'll do an orange one, orangish yellow, and then purple. For the one we have selected, I'm gonna do something just a little bit different. I'm gonna apply the same color as the fill. So we have a solid, and then I'm gonna copy it, Command C, Command V, and expand it just slightly and remove the fill. And then we're gonna drop the border down to one. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. That way we can clearly see which one is currently selected. For the bottom section, I'm gonna grab the top title section and copy that down. We'll do another 60 spacing. This one's gonna be for inviting people. So invite for the title. And then for our text, it's gonna say search, friends, and groups. So this app's gonna allow you to have groups of people or teams, and that way you can search each one of those here in the search field. I'm gonna drop this down to 70% opacity just because nothing is actually typed in. And I'm gonna slide it over and then drag in our icon. And then I'm gonna position our magnifying glass right there. And then we'll give the text 10 spacing in between that. We can remove this X. And then I'm gonna create a circle and a rectangle with a round one for a team and one for just a friend. For a rectangle, I'm gonna drag that out and I'm gonna set that to 220 by 42 on the height. I'm just gonna round that to a thousand so we have a nice border on each edge. This is gonna be 20 below this underline or the separator line. And I'm gonna set it to this gradient. We'll fix the gradient coloring in just a second. And I'm gonna remove the border. So I'm gonna need some text, so I'm just gonna borrow this and just hold Alt and drag it down. Command Shift, right square bracket key to bring it to the front. And this is gonna be called Design Team. I'm gonna bring that to full opacity. And then we'll just put about 20 spacing from the side. On the right over here, we're gonna have icons of just a few people in the Design Team. So I'll drag out a circle and I'm gonna make this 30 by 30. For the border, I'm gonna change that to white. And then I'll position this seven pixels from the right side. I'm gonna copy this three times. We'll adjust the spacing in a second. And then I'm gonna drag in some faces. I'm gonna position each one of these touching and then go over six pixels. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then send it backward, command left square bracket key. And I'll do the same with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and send it backward. Have to do it twice on that one. And then inside this last one is going to be like the more icon. So it's going to show how many more people are actually in the design team. So we're going to need some text for that one. And I'm going to say four plus. I'll make that our blue color. And we'll drop this down to 13 points on the font. Center that up inside the circle. 
and we have something like that. So let's go ahead and fix this gradient so it looks a little bit better. I'm just gonna drag this blue swatch over. So the gradient goes from purple to blue. And then we can just group that up. And lastly, we're gonna need an icon for just inviting an individual friend. So I'll drag that out. This is gonna be slightly larger than these just so it matches the height of this rectangle. So we'll just match that up. Do 20 spacing. And we can just remove the border. Actually, let's turn it to white and then drag in a face. One final thing for a bit of color, we're gonna match this gradient down here by adding that behind our check mark icon. So I'm gonna drag out a rectangle. This is gonna be 40 tall, and it just needs to be long enough to go off the side of the screen. I'll show you why in just a second. So I'm gonna send it all the way to the back using Command Shift left square bracket key, and we'll bring it forward until we can see it. Apply our gradient, and I'll just position it like that and then we'll round this to like 1000 and I'm just going to position this visually remove the border and then we'll do the same thing we did to the gradient earlier and just drag this over to the side so it fades from purple to blue so we have a check mark icon that looks just a little bit more colorful and it matches this down here now that we've done that, you can pop that in a mock-up or you can put that on your phone with a device preview option and you get something that looks like this. So that's how to make a nice dark themed meetings application screen. This is for setting up a meeting. If you guys want to take this further, you can make this an interactive design by just making multiple artboards and have the user go through each one of the steps of picking the title, the date, the time, and description. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more UI related content and as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.